whenever you find yourself in a creative rut, a really great thing to do is to look back at your old art journals. So I think a great alternative to looking outward at other sources is to look at your own journals. Um, basically, you're going to get inspired off of your own work and sort of feed off that energy. Um, you can see how far you've come and the improvements that you've made. Maybe even pick up on an old idea and make a new project out of it. So I thought I would flip through some of my old art journals and just reflect upon uh, my own old work. Um, something like this that you see is really, really old and grungy. Um, right now, I'm definitely feeling a bit in a creative rut and just not really sure what I should be creating. If like there's a project that is really calling to me or not, I feel a bit lost. So it's definitely um, time for reflection. Um, and I do this every once in a while. I definitely look at my old art journals. Um, as you can see, I've experimented with a lot of different mediums. Being a self-taught artist, I just sort of rolled up my sleeves and you know, tried whatever I felt like for the day um, and see where it took me. Um, this was sort of a phase of like drawing and watercolor, colored pencils. Um, also went through like a very mixed media alter book type of phase. Um, still have my drawings and watercolor, um, but I tried to mix in um, like mixed media type of thing, collaging and lots of paint which honestly is really messy for me. I mean, I guess I'm just a messy person when it comes to that type of artwork. Um, and I don't really love it when I do it, even though I really like it when other people do it. So it's a bit weird. Um, definitely have not figured that part out yet. Um, but I definitely love drawing, um, just not necessarily coloring my drawings. Um, and I guess that's always been one of my weak points in a sense. Um, I would draw something and then it would just stop there and I wouldn't know how to finish it. Um, but you know, I have done something before so that's something. Um, again, these are like really, really old journals. This is from like 2009 so it was just random drawing and when I was learning sort of um, like cartoony style um, and it was just um, pens, you know, inks like markers, um, and, you know, looking back at it, it's like, there's a lot of bad stuff, but, you know, there's a lot of good stuff as well, and just interesting ideas to see, um, what I was interested in at the time, um, and I've made a lot of my own journals, um, throughout the years, just binding them myself with scraps of leather and paper. This journal, you can see it's from 2011, um, and lots of drawing of girls, um, which has always been sort of a reoccurring subject for me, um, is to just draw cute girls. And I also have some work from like what people have sent me. And here you can see um, when I was planning out sort of these digital girl drawings, I sketched them out first. Um, and here's another art journal where I sort of went mixed media again, um, made from leather scraps and inside there's really thick mixed media paper. Um, so I did the whole like what many people assume like art journaling is more like, which is like a lot of paint backgrounds and things and collaging and stenciling and that kind of thing. Um, but on top of it, I have all these drawings, so it's sort of like this weird handicap of like drawing but just sort of like smacking it on top because I don't really know how to combine the two. Um, it's it's really weird to have this like t mixed sort of thing um, where I really like the line drawings but then I don't know to go f like where to go from there even though I obviously crave color because I have it all over. Um, so that's like an interesting realization, I suppose. Um, and I think that my girl drawings, I still draw a lot of girls, but I, I do think that I have improved um, in sort of developing like a look. Um, so this is like another girl drawing, but it's like the simple sort of beginnings form. And nowadays I definitely draw them 
with a bit more detail even though that they are simpler and like really big eyes because I just like that aspect so um, looking back is sort of nice to just see um, the variety of things that I've tried um, how far I've come and the fact that there are some good ideas that I've like jotted down in my journals um, and maybe one of those might spark an idea again um, and maybe I can go off of that you know um, I think that we can definitely be heavily influenced by things that we see outside in our real world and by art that we see with, by others um, but if we can be inspired by our own um, notes and work that would be sort of nice it's like you're riffing off yourself right um, so I definitely went through a big phase of just drawing and inking um, and that's it so this is when I first had a baby and um, all the paints and things like that it just the messiness did, was not something that worked well with having a little baby so um, it's just mostly drawings and that's probably what I've always um, settled upon more than anything else um, but yeah I really like this like this girl with the eye, bigger eyes and just slightly more um, like character to them um, so a little bit it's still cartoony but like not as um, comic cartoony I guess you can say so I do like that and so this is one of the latest journals that I've created um, really just recently like last month uh, I bound it together watching one of the creative bug um, tutorials and it's just a mix of pages um, following along the creative bug prompts because I was just been feeling in a creative rut and just wanted to do something so it's all about bookmaking and just random you know um, smushing of colors and <laughs> explorations and things so really a big big mix um, and definitely about like book structures more than anything else but obviously like paint and things like that because um, I thought it was about time that I pulled out some of those paints and try to use them before they're all dried up um, yeah I don't think that I really love acrylic very much um, watercolors more definitely my thing um, and so now I'm just flipping through some of the journals that I have like going right now and you can see they're sort of spare <laughs> and not very filled up um, just sort of in this weird stuck phase um, and I tried like making really small journals so that um, they would be more approachable and there's just a lot of mark making and things that I'm not really sure what I'm doing um, and of course I am still drawing and writing like my quote-unquote normal way of journey journaling um, so I still have that um, and just sort of feel a bit stuck and that's why I'm doing this sort of reflections um, and as I said I do this every once in a while so I'll definitely leave a link to my blog where I have a bit more detail um, and more photos of my old journals if you're interested in looking um, but thanks for listening in on this video um, I think that if you're in a creative rut like me um, it can really help to look back at your old work and sort of see where you can go from there and you might still feel a little weird and maybe not like super super motivated but I really do think that it will help to get you out of your rut um, to just look back at your work and give yourself a pat on the back and know that you have done a lot of great stuff so there's possibility be still for you to do even more um, you just have to fill the well right so I wish you um, the best of luck on your creative journey and thanks so much for um, listening and watching um, to this video let me know in the comments below what you would like to see I definitely want to share more um, but again definitely want to know what it is that you are looking for and very very happy to share with you um, so what you see right now is just like a mix of the ongoing journals that I have and um, doodles and paints and things like that um, so hopefully I will get with it and we'll have more to share with you soon thanks so much and have a great day